Donk here today for Wednesday, September 12th, goes to a man in the great state of Florida. Now, you know what your Uncle Charla always tells you, the craziest people in America come from the Bronx and all of Florida. And this man, Don Crandall, is no exception. Now, every day on my social media, I get a bunch of people saying to me, Charlemagne the God is a racist. He's a race beta. All he talks about is race. And why does he have that tub of Hellman's? Hold on. Oh, oh boy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do you open it yet? I want to know what it smells like. <laughs> All right. Why does he have a white tears mug? Okay. Charlemagne great. hates white people. He hates Post Malone. And I say to each and every one of you, wipe your mayonnaise flavored tears with your MAGA hats and relax. Okay. This is never about all white people. This is about racist bigots. And if I slander a racist bigot and you get offended, always remember that a hit jar of Hellman's will holler. Now, if you don't understand what I just said, let me unpack it for you. All right, whenever you hear me, Charlemagne the God, slandering a racist white bigot, you should agree. If you don't agree, then you are probably a racist bigot too. Now, let's see how you feel about the curious case of a cracker ass cracker named Don Crandall. All right, now Twitter is the most anxiety inducing app on the internet. Uh, I have no facts to back that up, just my observation. But this time, Twitter actually was used for good because this encounter between four black students from Florida A&M University, FAMU, drop on the clues bomb for FAMU, man. This encounter between four FAMU students and a white man went digital because one of the students, Isaiah Butterfield, was smart enough to pull out his phone and make sure this white devil went viral. Now here's the scene. Four students, Isaiah Butterfield, Stephen Brooks, uh, Joshua Cosby, and Fitzroy Roden, were entering a student housing complex on Saturday for their friend to let them in a party. Uh, Don Crandall, who also wasn't a resident of the building, told them they weren't getting into the building. He actually went inside and locked the door. Now, if you watch this video, uh, Revolt TV should be putting it up. You can see that Don Crandall is an older white man telling these four students they can't get in the studio complex. Let's hear a little bit of it, please. This is my do you, own, do you own the building? Let me know. No. Let I'm me know. Let me be clear. Be clear. You're only getting in this elevator. Let me know why. Why we not? Because she don't belong in the building. You got a key for this building? I'm going to be here. You got a key. You think I'm fing kidding? Bro, don't touch. No. Sir, you bring out your gun. What, 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 what's your purpose? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you scared? Are you scared? Are scared? First of all, Don, why are you here? Okay, we are students going into a student complex. You are not a resident of this building, Don. You're not a student, and they don't do mayonnaise deliveries on Saturdays. So why are you here? But wait, it gets worse, all right? Don told me they can't get in the building. You heard that. Isaiah Butterfield said they just sat there confused, wondering why this mad jar Miracle Whip was even talking to them. Then after Don Crandall locked himself in to keep them out, he came out again to tell them, find another elevator. You can't get on this one. Now, during this whole process, a white ally came and used his privilege to try to combat this prejudice. A white guy who they called Chad told Don Crandall to keep it moving, told him to keep walking and just go about his day, AKA knock this cracker ass cracker racist stuff off, you embarrassing us. When the four students asked why they couldn't use this elevator and get in the building, you heard Don Crandall, who I repeat, wasn't even a resident of the building himself said, because you don't belong in this building before adding you ain't got a key for the building, you don't belong in the elevator and then this happened. Let's go to WXTL ABC 27 for the report, please. You can see a man holding a gun as he blocks a group of men from taking the elevator. Isaiah Butterfield said he and these three friends from FAMU were at Stadium Center Apartments early Saturday morning to see a friend who just moved in. The students told us a man approached them to tell them they weren't getting on the elevator he was taking. It's student housing, so I'm like, sir, do you have a key? Because you're kind of older than us. We're college students. We're 20, 21. For students and you look like you're in your mid 40s. When the man shows them what he says is his key, he has a gun in his other hand. So who's the man in the video holding the gun? Several people on social media say his name is Don Crandall and he's the manager of this hotel. This guy Don Crandall was the general manager of a local hotel, Baymont by Wyndham. When ABC News reached out to the hotel for comment, the hotel confirmed his identity and said he was no longer working there and he does not represent the values of our company and yeah. how others should be treated and they do not stand behind the actions of our former general manager and our team has gone ahead and took the actions that were necessary to uphold our beliefs. So clearly he's been fired. See, how do y'all, you know, want me to not talk about race when things like this are happening in our society? How can you be upset at me? For calling a racist bigot, crack ass, crack a white devil, human jar, helmets a racist bigot, crack ass, crack a white devil, human jar, helmets. All right. <laughs> this man. Jeez. Hey, oh, you, you want to defend him? Nope. Oh, this man has no socially redeeming qualities. And if me calling Don Crandall all those things 
makes you matter than what Don Crandall actually did, then you are part of the problem. And maybe your heart pumps mayonnaise too. Please let Kathy Griffin give Don Crandall the biggest hee-haw. Please give this giant jar of mayo the biggest hee-haw. <coughs> All right. <coughs> All right. Well, thank you for that donkey of the day. You mad? Huh? Crack ass, crack Are you mad? All right. No, F that. Because there's a difference between good white people and crack ass crackers. So if you're hearing this donkey of the day and you're more mad at me saying crack ass cracker than you are what that man actually did, you're part of the problem. Crack ass cracker. And I'm holding your trophy up. Are right you now. done? Why are you giggling so much? Because <laughs> you're funny, man. <laughs> you're funny. My goodness. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that donkey of the day.